Hey folks, it's me again, Paul Foster at your service. Now I hope you had a good time accompanying me on my journey during the first series of Lamia Mia Recipe. This is wow. how it's done. Of course, we had my dear mother guiding us along the way. Oh, I'm not in it. And cooking oh. some of her iconic dishes to localize lamb with a twist. Wow, that works. It, it works. I did not expect that. Yeah. But I think we made our point. Lamb dishes can be, if not, are more delicious than anything else. But now it's time we raise the stakes. Don't get me wrong, I love my mom and she's a fantastic cook. But why not talk to some of the best chefs Singapore has to offer and find out what their favorite lamb dishes are? Ladies and gentlemen, this is Lamb Me Your Recipe Chef Special. First up on our culinary tour of Singapore is Prego. Located at Fairmont Singapore's ground floor, this 235-seat Italian restaurant is as warm and welcoming as its name suggests. Prego. And its Italian chef, Maro Sana, is helming the ship with his 40 years experience in the industry. I was born in a small village of North Sardinia, which is an island on the middle of Mediterranean in the South Italy. I come from a family which for generations they were farmers, but at the same time my grandmother, my mother, they were excellent cook and then they maybe they sparked to me a little bit of love in the food and especially the Mediterranean food. My name is Mauro, I am the chef in uh, Prego, here in Fairmont, Singapore. When I was 14, I left uh, my village to go to the school of uh, Porto Cevo, uh, culinary school. Then uh, I met uh, many professional people, uh, my teacher, they were all, and uh, they teach me a lot, and at the same time, I, I thought this is what I love to do, I want to do it. I come from Sardinia, which uh, the economy of the island is based on the sheep breed. Today we're going to do the, the pizza, because probably pizza is uh, the most traditional, most famous Italian dish. I think it's uh, one of the meat, or probably the meat is much better with the flavor of Mediterranean with the herbs, with the, with the veg. A simple base of bread, we can say, and the tomato, and after the fantasy of the people can make. And then, uh, for me, put the lamb on top with the sun-dried tomato, with the eggplant, a little bit of herb. They remind me to my place, the flavor, the smell, the, 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 the feeling. Because of this, I think it's one of the, probably the, my favorite meat. Beautiful, uh, thin crust, not overloaded with cheese. It just looks like a brilliant high-end pizza. So let's give this a shot. Really traditional Italian flavor. Uh, the basil and the tomato and the cheese in particular. But yeah, the lamb, the lamb again is just, it's so succulent. It's so easy to eat. All these flavors together definitely work. You got a bit of salt, a bit of sweetness. And again, when it all comes together and amalgamates in your mouth, it, uh, it creates a real burst of flavor. And I think it works very particularly well with a thin crust. 
And you know, lamb is not the first meat you'd associate with pizza, but it works really, really well. Um. In the lobby of Hilton Singapore is one of the best places in Singapore to visit for any discerning carnivore. Opus Bar and Grill is the epicenter of char grilled cuisine, and the man adding his touch to the kitchen is none other than Chef Tazi Mohammed. Let's see what this young Moroccan chef has up his sleeves. My golden rules when it comes to cooking is to mix up the flavors and all the, the amazing food that we have. With the simple ingredients, you can make a delicious food uh, just the way we process it and we do it. The cooking is not about to fill up the tummy, it's also a way to connect our and discover other culture. Hi, I'm Tazi Mohammed from Hilton, Singapore. I am a Moroccan chef. The inspiration to become a chef, it started as a young boy. My mom it was my main inspiration as she was uh, doing a home-based caterer and I was always helping her during the holidays and the weekends. So since then I find that I'm very patient to discover another dishes and helping in the kitchen. I have been working in Hilton Singapore for four years. I found that Asian people doesn't like to eat much lamb, which is we do in Morocco or in Middle East or in Mediterranean cuisine. So I start to work on, on how to improve the taste of the lambs. So since then I start to work on different lamb cuts, which is I found the Australian lamb, it's nearly to the Moroccan lamb, because there is a grass feed lamb, which is the same as we do in Morocco. I have chosen to cook today the lamb skewers. First things because it's easy to make with simple ingredients. And the second thing, it reminds me of my childhood when we was excited when it arrived the Hari Raya Haji. So it tastes very good when it's make it with family and grill it at home. First, we will start to clean up the lamb from the vein. We will use in today the lamb leg. The first thing, we cut it to cube. And we will chop some nicely with parsley, following by the coriander and we will add on it some chopped garlic and a bit of cumin powder and uh, paprika. Salt, pepper, olive oil. This is the way that we use it here in Opus. We marinate it for 48 hours. After the marination, we're gonna put it into the skewers. Once we grill it, it gets the smoky flavor of the jarra wood, which is Australian, and we use it here mostly for all our steak in Opus. To go with this lamb, I have created a simple sauce, which is we are using the Greek yogurt with some shaved lemon zest and a dash of salt and pepper. So I've got my Moroccan lamb skewers delivered to me from Opus. Okay, I'm pretty happy with this plating, but I think to really enjoy the actual dining experience, I need to sit down. So I know it's squeezing the lemon. Uh, I'm gonna have to obviously get this mint yogurt sauce with it. Yeah, I can taste the Moroccan spices. When you add the lemon, when you add the mint yogurt sauce, that's very, you know, on my tongue and in my head. Oh, Moroccan style. There's a smoky flavor as well. And if I'm not mistaken, it's because the chef uses a jarra wood instead of charcoal when he's actually grilling these lamb skewers. So that woody, smoky flavor that's on the meat itself is, is wonderful. Thank you to Opus and Prego for their wonderful lamb dishes today. But we've got six chefs and six lamb dishes still to come. So if this is the caliber I'm dealing with right now, I'm in for a real treat and so are you.
All right. I think that's gonna work. <laughs> um, let's just do a little bit of a... Whoa, these pomegranates are going... I was gonna do a little bit of a salt bay, but uh, I think they would be flying everywhere. Look down. Down, down, yeah. Don't see like that, I'm Malu. <laughs> and some dash of the yogurt on the top. I garnish it. <laughs> I have to remember. I have to remember to don't move too much the hair. <laughs> yeah, I know, but <laughs> it's not, there is no control. <laughs>